Yeah, it's another very interesting time tumekutana tena katika mada hii ya form 2 chemistry topic ya nne fuel and energy. Kwenye mada iliyopita tunaona diko na discuss kuhusu water. Mada ya kwanza ni oxygen, ya pili hydrogen. Ya tatu ni eh, water na hii ya nne ni fuel and energy. My name is uh, Mr. Mlelwa na tunaendelea na discussion of form 2 chemistry toa kwenye ile topic ya kwanza ambayo tuliko tumeanza nayo. Sasa fuel and energy tuna discuss nini kwenye hii topic? Fuel and energy tuna discuss kuhusu vyanzo mbalimbali vya nguvu. Energy ni nguvu. Fuel ni kitu ambacho kikiungua kinatengeneza nguvu. Energy ni nguvu. Energy the ability or capacity of doing work. Lakini fuel ni substance fulani ambayo on burning ikiungua inatengeneza nini? Energy. So Tunaweza kusema kwamba by introduction a fuel is any combustible substance is any combustible substance combustible maana yake kitu kinaungua a fuel is any combustible substance which on burning ambacho kikiungua in air gives a large amount of heat energy maana kikiungua kwenye hewa kinatoa nguvu nyingi sana kinatoa energy nyingi sana so a fuel is any combustible substance kwanza lazima iwe combustible lazima iwe na ungua and when it is combustible which when it burns on air it gives a large amount of energy so is any combustible substance uh, which on burning in air gives a large amount of heat energy that can be used economically for domestic now hiyo heat energy ambayo inatokea kwenye fuel inaweza kutumika Uh, for economical for domestic use unaweza kutumia nyumbani kupika kufanya nini it can be used for transportation kama ambapo petrol au diesel inatumika uh, kwenye magari kusafirishia mizigo and it, it can be used even for industrial processes kwa sababu kuna mashina za viwanda zinatumia mafuta it can be used even for industrial processes as well as other uses kwa fuel tukiban fuel tunapata energy fuel ni kitu fulani ambacho tukikiunguza tunapata energy na hiyo energy inaweza kutumika nyumbani inaweza kutumika kwa usafirishaji viwandani au maeneo mengine mengi unaona bwana now since combustion is the chemical process combustion ni, 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 ni chemical process in the chemical process fuel are also called chemical fuels sometimes a uh, fuel they are known as chemical fuels uh, because the combustion the chemical process so that means the word chemical fuel inakwenda stand kwamba hizi ni material ambazo kiziban unaenda kupata nini unaenda kupata energy ukiziban kwa kupitia chemical process unaenda kupata energy now in this chapter you learn about categories of fuel tutaona aina mbalimbali za fuel and their characteristics tabia za hizo fuel tutaona uses of fuels hizo uh, fuel mbalimbali zinatumika wapi and the environmental effects of using charcoal and firewood athari za kimazingira environmental effects of using charcoal and firewood athari za kimazingira za kutumia mkaa na kuni kwamba kutumia mkaa na kuni unapata athari gani za kimazingira mazingira yanaharibikaje you will also learn about energy and the alternative sources of energy utasoma kuhusu energy yani e, e, nguvu ambayo inatokana na hizo fuel but also kwamba kuna baadhi ya sources of energy kama chako and firewood zinaharibu mazingira. Now kama zinaharibu mazingira natokea tujue ni natokea tujue the alternative sources of energy yani nguvu mbadala. Kwamba kama kuni na mkaa vinaharibu mazingira tunakata miti tunapunguza miti. Maana we must have alternative. Ili alternative itusaidie tusiharibu mazingira. Ndio naita alternative sources of energy yani nguvu mbadala. The competencies developed will help you to use fuels properly and economically. Kwa ujuzi ambao utatengeneza kwenye hii topic utakuwezesha wewe kutumia fuel vizuri pamoja na economically yani usitumie ovyo utumie vizuri ili ku save hizo fuels ukatumia gas eh, siku moja tu gas mtungi mzima ulinua kaisha no you will use the fuel economically and properly. Kwa hiyo uh, Tuanze kuona categories of fuels kwamba fuels ziko za aina ngapi categories of fuels in terms of categories fuel can be categorized on the basis of their occurrence and the physical states um tukianza ku categorize fuel based on their occurrence kwamba kuna fuel ambazo zenyewe ziliumbwa na Mungu na ukichukua pale unaitumia moja kwa moja kama ilivyo kuna fuel ambazo zinatengenezwa na wanadamu on the basis of their occurrence fuel can be classified into natural fuel 
or primary fuel and artificial fuel or secondary fuel. Uh, natural fuels is in zimetengenezo na mungu mwenyewe. So natural fuels occur in nature. That is they are not manufactured. They are not money made as they tengenezo na binadamu. They include wood, kuni, coal, makaya mawe, petroleum. And mafuta petrol. Haa tengenezo na binadamu. And natural gas. Natural gas ni gas amodo na tumia kupikia. Haa ya tengenezo na binadamu. Natural gas. Again, kuna artificial fuel pia. Artificial fuels are either manufactured in industry, they are tengenezo viwandani, or derived from primary fuel through refinery. Yani manaki unachukua primary fuel unaitengeneza. Ukisha itengeneza unakuja kupata nini? Artificial fuel imetengenezo na wanadamu. Kwa mfano, unavuzi mzia eh, mkaa. Mkaa ni eh, wood ambo ni mti umechomu wa mkaa. Unaona? So umekuwa processed chako umekuwa processed na nani na binadamu. Artificial fuel include petroli. Petroleum sasa ni mafuta yanayochimbwa. Ukisha chimba petroleum unaweza kutengeneza petroli, unaweza kutengeneza kerosene, unaweza kutengeneza diesel from what? From petroleum. But also alcohol zinatengenezwa viwandani. Hydrogen, water gas, coal gas and producer gas. All of these they are artificial fuels ambazo zinatengenezwa na binadamu and some of these uh, some of these ambazo zinatengenezwa na binadamu they have um, effect on the environment and some of others they don't have effect hata kwa natural fuel if you but they have effect on the environment but they are hazina now categories of fuel according to their physical states uh, based on the physical states on the basis of their physical states fuel can be classified as solid fuel liquid fuel and gaseous fuel manake kama unavyojua states tunazo tatu solid liquid and gaseous Uh, pia hivyo hivyo hata huko kwenye categories of fuel based on the physical state tutakuwa nazo tatu. Now table 4.1 shows different physical states of fuel in the examples. Look uh, solid fuel uh, primarily on natural we have wood and coal. Wood yani kuni na coal ambayo ni makaa mawe. And then secondary artificial we have charcoal yani mkaa pamoja na coke. Coke imetokana na coal umeifanyia modification mbalimbali unapata coke. Then you have liquid fuel ambayo tuna crude petroleum ile petroli inayochimbwa crude petroleum is primarily a natural fuel which is liquid in nature and in, sec in secondary artificial we have kerosene mafuta ta petroli diesel and biodiesel unaona then uh, gaseous fuel we also have uh, gaseous fuel gaseous fuel in uh, natural gas natural gas in primary but um, when secondary tuna liquefied petroleum gas lpg tuna coal gas tuna water gas producer gas hydrogen and even alcohol inakuwa iko katika gas kwa hiyo uh is in your categories of a uh, fuel after there we'll be having a discussion on the characteristics of a good fuel good fuel fuel ili iwe nzuri inatakiwa ina sifa zipi this one among the most commonly asked question in a chemistry form 2 and even form 4 exams Uh, characteristics of a good fuel ili fuel tujue kwamba hii fuel it is good what features or what characteristics must it possess kwa hiyo tutaenda kuziona hizo characteristics in a, a wide range of discussion in the coming session so thank you and later we should nice studies let's meet in the coming session